Hey, thanks for jumping into another advanced networking for beginners. When you go to a networking event, it can sometimes be a little stressful trying to figure out who to talk to, how to talk with them, etc. So I wanted to give a couple ideas from uh, what I found in the last two years of networking. Uh, the first is I want to talk about open body language. So I'm here with my good friend, Ethan Brooks from Cross Country Mortgage, and we are going to demonstrate what open body language is. So you can see us both standing here shoulder to shoulder, um, a wider array opening to the room. And basically what our conversation is saying is if someone else wants to join, they're more than welcome. Now, for me, if I'm talking to someone and I'm like, hey, I have a question that I specifically would like to answer for, I might square up. And what this does is it builds more intimacy. It gives me an opportunity to ask that person a question. At this point, I would grab a card from them and try and schedule a one-on-one -on -one later on. But I also want to talk about what this means for you. So that was demonstrating closed body language. And what I wanted to show there is being able to um, bring yourself in with someone. Now, if you're in that spot and you're thinking, this conversation is not going exactly the way I wanted it to, I want to talk about how to break that off and uh, re-engage the rest of the So if you're in that spot where you're looking to get out of that conversation, I would just recommend kicking out your hips a little bit. You open up to the room, maybe someone else joins the conversation, and uh, you continue on with your event. So big takeaways from uh, today's episode are really just looking at um, being open to everyone, something specific, grabbing a card, getting back out there. So get out there, and um, I promise, once you get through a couple of these events, uh, they're going to get a lot easier and a lot more fun. Cheers.